Imagine a world where our own Filipino scientists lead the way in self-defense ammunition and rockets development. At present, we rely heavily on foreign suppliers for these crucial components of national security. But what if our lawmakers stepped up and spearheaded a movement to harness the best of Filipino expertise? By investing in and supporting our local talent, we can revolutionize self-defense, fueling innovation through local expertise. The time has come for us to take charge of our own security. Our Filipino scientists and engineers possess the skill, knowledge, and creativity to develop cutting-edge ammunition and rockets. With their perseverance and dedication, we can secure our nation's future without relying on foreign suppliers. By fostering local scientific innovation, together, we will create a brighter future for our nation. Through collaboration and support, we are not just developing self-defense ammunition and rockets. We are nurturing a culture of scientific excellence and national pride. Revolutionizing self-defense, fueling innovation through local expertise. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this thought-provoking video titled, Revolutionizing Self-Defense, Fueling Innovation Through Local Expertise, we embark on a journey delving into the captivating notion of Philippine lawmakers leading the creation of self-defense ammunition and rockets development. Join us as we explore the idea of showcasing the exceptional talent of Filipino scientists by reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. In this intriguing discussion, we ponder the potential outcomes that could arise from such a revolutionary movement. Imagine a future where the Philippines takes a prominent role in advancing self-defense technology, surpassing the need for imports and unlocking the full potential of local expertise. We envision homegrown rocket development programs and ingenious self-defense ammunition inventions that not only strengthen the country's security but also position Filipino scientists at the forefront of innovation, by channeling resources and funding into cultivating local talent the Philippines could become a trailblazer in self-defense technology. Unlocking this immense potential could lead to groundbreaking discoveries, attracting global attention and admiration. Moreover, it would provide an opportunity for the world to witness the brilliant minds and capabilities of Filipino scientists, ultimately placing the nation on the map as a hub of technological advancements, as we explore this captivating notion. We invite you to share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. Join us on this exciting journey of imagining a future where the Philippines strives for self-sufficiency in self-defense technology while exhibiting the ingenuity and brilliance of its scientists. Don't miss out on any updates, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content showcasing the best of Filipino innovation. Together, let's fuel and support local expertise, paving the way for a brighter, more self-reliant future in the realm of self-defense, Philippine lawmakers approve groundbreaking bill, revolutionizing arsenal and defense ammunition, it is no secret that the safety and security of a nation rely heavily on a strong defense system. And today, we have groundbreaking information to share with you, Philippine lawmakers approve groundbreaking bill, revolutionizing arsenal and defense ammunition. The Philippines has long strived to enhance its defenses. And this revolutionary bill marks a significant step towards achieving that goal. Imagine a future where the nation becomes self-reliant in the creation and production of its own arsenal and defense ammunition. The passing of this bill brings us one step closer to realizing that vision. With the approval of this bill, Philippine lawmakers are acknowledging the importance of self-sufficiency and innovation in the field of defense. The nation will no longer have to rely solely on external suppliers for its weaponry needs, ensuring greater sovereignty and security. This monumental decision will undoubtedly lead to a boost in the country's technological advancements and economy. The development of indigenous arsenal and defense ammunition will create numerous job opportunities. Foster local expertise, and stimulate growth in related industries. As we look towards the future, it is inspiring to imagine the immense progress that will be made in the field of defense. Imagine a future where the Philippines is not only known for its beautiful beaches and vibrant culture, but also for its groundbreaking arsenal and defense ammunition. This future might be closer than you think. Recently, Philippine lawmakers have approved a groundbreaking bill that paves the way for the creation and development of our very own arsenal and defense ammunition. This bill is set to revolutionize our country's defense capabilities and strengthen our national security. For years, we have relied on imports for our defense needs. 
but with this new legislation, we will be able to tap into our own resources and unleash our potential as a self-sufficient nation in the field of defense. This bill is not just a mere piece of legislation, it signifies a turning point for the Philippines. It shows our commitment to being a strong and independent nation, capable of protecting our sovereignty. Imagine our own engineers and scientists working tirelessly to develop cutting-edge technologies and innovative defense solutions. Imagine the pride we will feel when we see Made in the Philippines stamped on our defense arsenal. This bill will not only create job opportunities for our fellow Filipinos but also pave the way for collaboration and knowledge transfer among our skilled workforce. We will no longer be dependent on foreign suppliers, but rather, we will become exporters of advanced defense technology. The road ahead will not be easy, but with our determination and commitment, we will achieve greatness. Together, we will revolutionize our arsenal in defense ammunition, placing the Philippines at the forefront of defense innovation. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the development of our groundbreaking arsenal in defense ammunition. Together, we will build a stronger and more secure future for our beloved Philippines. Senator Villar wants PH to have own defense industry. It is time for the Philippines to have its own defense industry in order to produce its own equipment such as ammunition to protect the country's sovereignty, Senator Mark Villar said on Thursday, during the budget hearing of the Bases Conversion and Development Authority, BCDA, Villar urged the corporation to provide support for interested companies. The lawmaker made the statement after learning from his recent visit to the government. Arsenal in Camp Antonio Luna that a BCDA property in Bataan is being considered as location for defense industries, we should be able to make our own ammunitions. Especially now. We have security issues. Kailangan din na magarun tayo ng seriling defense industry to create basic materials, to protect our sovereignty also, he said, I visited the armory. They updated me on the status, unfortunately wala pang masayadong locators. But I hope you can push for that. If there are local export oriented businesses that want to locate there, sana big yen dining support. Para mapablas ayong pagteo nila ng MGA factories that can promote our defense industry, BCDA chairperson Delphin Lorenzana said there are some Korean companies already in Bataan, while others are interested to enter New Clark City, maroning two company in Korean Dune that relocated there, Bataan. One is making magazines for M16. And the other one is making protective vests for soldiers. They are there now, I don't know what happened to them. Actually the area is our property, Lorenzana explained, there are also some Korean companies that would like to put up defense facilities in New Clark City. But I don't think we can mix them with some of the facilities there. Mukhang Hindi Tugma E. Ayang Gagewin Nila, they will be making ammunitions for whatever, he added.